shows you what kind of day you had when it's uh, 219 and you can finally eat your breakfast. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sweltery Southern IA. Try tip once, they seem to be a little bit tighter than the singles. On today's agenda is something that I haven't ever done before. We're actually going to be applying fungicide with the Haggy. I've done fungicide with the Haggy on soybeans, but today we're actually going to be trying it on some corn. It is a trial deal, so it's going to be 120 foot strips. It's like a 70 acre trial, half of it applied, half of it not. And uh, supposedly we can apply it at like five foot tall corn and it be effective throughout the rest of the year. So we're going to give it a shot. We are changing the tips though to these newer tips, or they're not newer tips, different tips. They're a high pro tip on the bottom of them. They have a jet going one way and jet going the other. So it sprays forward and backwards. Hopefully we can get a little bit better coverage. We're gonna throw these on. We're gonna then put some water in here, see what pressures I'm gonna be running at what speeds through the ag leader. And then we're gonna try and apply this fungus slide to this tall corn. And this is strictly a fungicide trial. We're not putting anything else in there, uh, such as hormones or uh, insecticide or foliar feed, just purely a fungicide trial. Hey, are both the tanks open? Did you open both the tanks? Okay. And yes, before someone notes that I'm wearing uh, shorts, the jean store was uh, having a 50% off sale. What do we want for gallons an acre? 18. Okay, so what we're doing here is I've got it actually set as a manual uh, speed input instead of using the globe, I've got it set at seven miles an hour. So I'm gonna turn on the pump, solution pump, prime it and we're gonna see how these nozzles spray. Target rate of 18 gallons an acre. So that should do it there. Make sure both the tanks are open. Turn that on, see if she'll prime. That's 40, hey, 45 pounds of pressure. Everything looks good. We're gonna load up and go spray. So as we head up the road here to actually another entrance where we're gonna be applying this fungicide, I probably won't do a lot of talking while we're actually applying the fungicide because I'm gonna be really focused on doing this. I've never done something like this before uh, with applying the fungicide with the sprayer. So this is new for me. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit nervous about it, but kind of why we're using this fungicide uh, fungicide will prevent diseases. Some people think it cures diseases. Fungicide, I believe, does not cure diseases at all. It's more like uh, getting a shot or like a flu shot for your corn. Uh, if any diseases are going to be showing up later in the year, uh, we can protect the yield that's there. Some people will say there's a yield bump to fungicide. Well, that's a false statement. Uh, fungicide just protects the yield that's there. Uh, the corn has the most yield the day you put it in the ground. Everything that happens to that corn plant after it's planted, uh, it starts taking off the yield. So when you're applying fungicide, we're just trying to protect the yield from diseases. And then also we've got a heavy shot of hot weather coming at us. And supposedly we might be able to mitigate some of the stress the corn plants could have, and that might protect some yield as well. We'll find out uh, at the end of the year, and we're doing 120 foot strips if I haven't mentioned that. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is not a product pushing deal. Uh, it's just cool because we're going to be running this Aggie through some six foot tall corn.
we go 36 acres or 0.2 of an acre shy of 36 acres applied here show you kind of what we did uh, it's 120 foot strips so here's where you can see right there's the entrance that we're sitting at right there uh, we did 120 foot strips right through here this is an 80 foot boom so to apply this I went with a full swath on my first pass and then I ended up turning off this outside section with this right down here and then I just used the auto uh, shut off on this section so the left wing section and the left wing tip so I was just spraying with uh, two sections there which equaled out to be about 41 feet that that's really not going to throw it off so our real air chest strips are 121 feet wide which is four uh, combine swaths or two planter passes four combine swaths because there was a uh, different hybrids it's a split planter in here uh, if we go back here we can actually go to this map right here this section right down here where it's big blocked out that's actually where a hybrid plot is that we have going on but let me tell you what that was a wild ride that was crazy cool being in that tall corn hopefully that uh this actually yields better because this is something that we could probably do a couple of notes uh, I was running 18 gallons to the acre uh, pressures were okay I maybe could bump that up on gallons per acre then I could focus on going a little bit slower uh, I would stay off the end rows I mean just do the center sections of the field where you're going back and forth otherwise it seems like we're trying to run over maybe a little too much corn I don't know we'll see what happens here uh, this farm looks good but needs a rain Thanks for hanging out with us down here in southern Iowa today, and hopefully you guys found this interesting. I know I did.